Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving deep into one of the most exciting Apple rumors of 2025, the iPad Mini 8. Now, the iPad Mini series has always been Apple's most compact, yet surprisingly powerful device. It's small enough to fit in one hand, but strong enough to handle professional level tasks. And according to the latest leaks, Apple might be turning the iPad Mini 8 into something far beyond what anyone expected. From a brand new OLED display, to the A19 Pro chip, and even potential price changes, this update could redefine the meaning of Mini. So in this video, we'll break down everything we know so far. The design leaks, performance boosts, battery life improvements, pricing rumors, and whether it's finally worth upgrading from the iPad Mini 7. Let's jump right in. One. The design, familiar yet perfected. So first things first, the design. From early CAD renders and insider reports, it looks like the iPad Mini 8 will retain the same overall design as the iPad Mini 7. That means we're still getting the sleek aluminum body, touch ID integrated into the power button, and a thin, lightweight form factor that's easy to carry anywhere. Apple seems to be keeping the iconic look of the Mini, which makes sense. The iPad Mini's current design language is already one of Apple's best balanced layouts. There's no need for radical changes when the form factor is already beloved by users for reading, gaming, sketching, and even note-taking. However, some analysts have suggested a few subtle design refinements. We might see a slightly thinner bezel or a redesigned camera ring similar to what's been done with the latest iPads and iPhones. A few sources also hinted at new color finishes, possibly a refreshed midnight blue, starlight silver, or even a product, red edition to make the mini lineup pop in Apple's marketing once again. But the real showstopper isn't the exterior. It's what's inside the screen. 2. The display, OLED finally comes to the iPad mini. Yes, you heard that right. According to multiple reliable sources, the iPad mini 8 will be the first mini model to feature an OLED display. Up until now, OLED panels were exclusive to the iPad Pro lineup. But with the 2025 refresh, Apple is expected to roll out OLED across more models, including the iPad Air 7 and the iPad Mini 8. So what does this mean? OLED will bring deeper blacks, infinite contrast ratios, and a brighter, more vibrant display for videos, gaming, and creative work. It's gonna make everything from HDR movies to detailed photo editing, look absolutely stunning. However, this won't be the same premium dual-stack OLED technology used in the iPad Pro. Apple reportedly plans to use a simplified single-layer OLED structure for the iPad Mini and iPad Air, offering nearly the same quality, but at a more affordable production cost. In other words, you'll still get the incredible OLED experience, but without the Pro price tag. Now. Here's the interesting part. Some industry watchers are skeptical. They question whether OLED is really necessary for such a small device. After all, the iPad mini screen measures just 8.3 inches and its LCD panel already delivers great colors and sharpness. So the big question is, does the iPad mini really need OLED? That depends on your use case. If you mainly use your iPad mini for media consumption, watching Netflix, YouTube, or editing photos, then yes, OLED is a huge upgrade. But if you're mostly using it for note-taking, sketching, or productivity, the difference might be less noticeable. Still, this move signals something big. Apple wants to standardize premium display quality across its entire iPad lineup. 3. The performance, powered by the A19 Pro chip. Next up, the heart of the iPad Mini 8, the A19 Pro chip. This is the same chip that's expected to power the iPhone 17 Pro series. Built on a 3 nanometer process by TSMC, the A19 Pro will deliver major leaps in both CPU and GPU performance, as well as AI acceleration, an area where Apple is pushing hard thanks to the rise of Apple intelligence. Reports suggest the A19 Pro might feature a 10-core GPU and 6-core CPU, with new architecture optimized for machine learning and real-time computation. In simple terms, this will be the most powerful chip ever in an iPad mini. To put in perspective, the iPad mini 7 with the A17 Pro chip was already capable of console-level gaming. 
The A19 Pro takes that even firth. Err. Enabling smoother 4K video editing, improved gaming performance with higher frame rates, and better power efficiency. Some insiders mention that Apple may slightly underclock the GPU in the Mini 8 compared to the iPhone 17 Pro, mainly to reduce heat and maintain longer battery life. The good news? That won't affect real-world performance much. You'll still get blazing fast multitasking, near-instant app loading, and outstanding graphics. This means even professional apps like Final Cut Pro for iPad, Logic Pro, or heavy design tools like Affinity Designer will run with ease on the new iPad Mini. The days of calling the iPad Mini a secondary device are officially over. 4. Battery Life – Efficiency Over Raw Capacity One area where the iPad Mini lineup has received mixed feedback is battery life. Because of its compact size, the Mini simply doesn't have room for a huge battery. And with every generation becoming more powerful, managing thermals and power efficiency has become critical. Apple seems to be addressing this through chip-level efficiency improvements. The A19 Pro is said to be built on a second-generation 3NM Plus node, which reduces power draw by up to 20% compared to the previous generation. This means that even with an OLED screen, which can sometimes drain more power when displaying bright content, the overall battery life may actually improve. We might finally see the iPad mini reach 10 to 12 hours of mixed usage, browsing, video playback, and light productivity, without worrying about recharging. There's also speculation that Apple might tweak the battery chemistry, introducing new high-density cells similar to those in the latest MacBook Air M3 models. However, for anyone planning to use the iPad mini 8 for heavy video editing or gaming, it's still smart to keep that charger nearby. OLED panels and high-performance ships come with a cost, power-hungry operations. 5. Software, iPad OS 19, and Apple Intelligence Integration Here's where things get futuristic. The iPad Mini 8 will likely ship with iPad OS 19, and it's expected to fully support Apple Intelligence, Apple's integrated AI system introduced in 2024. With the A19 Pro chip, the iPad Mini will gain access to on-device intelligence features such as smart summaries, automatically summarize documents, emails, or web pages, AI writing tools, rewrite or polish text instantly inside notes, mail, or pages, context-aware Siri, a more conversational Siri that remembers context and helps across apps, image generation, create quick visuals using Apple's built-in AI art tools. These new features transform the iPad mini from just a portable tablet into an AI-powered productivity device. Imagine sketching with Apple Pencil and having the system automatically refine your drawing or suggest color palettes in real time. Or using Siri to organize your study notes, create presentation slides, or summarize PDFs while you work. Apple is clearly aiming to make its smallest tablet smarter than ever before. 6. The Camera System Slight tweaks, same simplicity. Let's talk about the camera. While the iPad mini isn't primarily a photography device, Apple always ensures that its cameras deliver reliable quality for scanning, video calls, and creative tasks. Leaked details suggest the iPad mini 8 will retain a 12MP rear camera, possibly with a slightly larger sensor for better low-light performance, and a 12MP ultra-wide front camera with center stage support. Video capabilities could improve too, potentially reaching 4K at 60 frames per second with better stabilization and smart HDR6. But Apple's real focus here isn't megapixels, it's AI optimization. Using the A19 Pro's neural engine, the camera can process real-time lighting, exposure, and even recognize objects faster than before. So, whether you're scanning documents, attending meetings, or shooting quick clips for social media, the iPad Mini 8 will perform much better in everyday use cases. 7. Pricing, a subtle but expected increase. Now let's talk about money. As of now, reports from supply chain sources in Japan and Korea suggest that the iPad Mini 8 could see a slight price increase compared to the iPad Mini 7. Currently, the iPad Mini 7 starts around 78,800 Japanese yen, roughly 599 US dollars. For the new model, 
prices could rise to around 82,800 Japanese yen or 649 to $699 USD, depending on configuration. There are a few reasons for this potential bump. The introduction of OLED panels, which are more expensive to produce. The new A19 Pro chip built on a cutting edge 3NM plus process. Ongoing currency fluctuations and supply chain costs in 2025. However, don't expect a massive jump. Apple knows the iPad mini occupies a very specific niche, a small but powerful tablet that shouldn't compete directly with the iPad Air or iPad Pro in pricing. It's likely Apple will keep the base Wi-Fi model around the $649 mark to maintain its balance of affordability and performance. 8. Release date. When to expect the iPad Mini 8. So when will it actually launch? Based on Apple's release patterns and industry insider reports, the iPad Mini 8 is expected to debut in spring or fall 2025, most likely between March and October. Apple may unveil it alongside the new iPad Air 7 during a dedicated spring event, or, if not ready, bundle it into the fall lineup next to the iPhone 17 series. Given that production reportedly began in late Q4 2024, a May or June 2025 release window seems most realistic. That means we're just a few months away from seeing the next evolution of Apple's smallest iPad. 9. Should you upgrade from the iPad Mini 7? This is the big question. If you already own an iPad Mini 7, the decision depends on what you value most. If you're satisfied with the LCD display and a 17 Pro chip, then you might not need to upgrade. The design and general performance won't change drastically. However, if you're someone who wants the best display, longer battery life, AI tools, and the latest chip for gaming or editing, then the iPad Mini 8 will definitely feel like a new experience. The OLED screen alone will make content look richer, blacks deeper, and colors more immersive. Combine that with the A19 Pro's performance and Apple intelligence features, and suddenly the Mini becomes a full-fledged creative powerhouse in your hand. In short, if you're upgrading from the iPad Mini 6 or older, the iPad Mini 8 is a massive leap forward. If you're on the Mini 7, it's more of a refined evolution than a revolution. 10. Final Thoughts The iPad Mini's Big Moment The iPad Mini has always been a fan favorite. It's compact, powerful, and incredibly convenient. And now, in 2025, Apple seems to be giving it the respect it deserves. With the arrival of the OLED display, the A19 Pro chip, and integration with Apple Intelligence, the iPad Mini 8 will blur the line between compact portability and professional-grade performance. It's shaping up to be Apple's smartest small tablet ever and possibly the most balanced iPad in the lineup for everyday users. Of course, the final verdict will depend on real-world battery life, heat management, and pricing. But on paper, the iPad Mini 8 looks like a near-perfect evolution of Apple's most portable tablet. So what do you think? Is OLED worth it on a small screen? Would you upgrade to the A19 Pro version? Or are you happy sticking with your current iPad Mini 7? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you're most excited about. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more Apple leaks, reviews, and future tech breakdowns, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay tuned and stay tech savvy. Peace out.